my life and love to them and help them. And sometimes we get complacent and lazy and we think, oh, I just don't have the energy and we get so caught up in our flesh. But if we can give every ounce that we can to help someone who's broken, that's why I'm here. That's why God opened the door for me to come to your land to say, if I could speak to just a few lives, if I could help build up a few lives, it's worth it. If I could help encourage a few lives and say, you're a winner. As a matter of fact, Jesus had, how many disciples did Jesus have? Don't speak out at once. Do you know how many disciples Jesus had? Go ahead. Guess. Twelve? Got it. He had twelve. How many are here? One, two, three. We got about that right now. Later in our spa day, we're going to have an awesome time. And you know what? God used a few <coughs> to shake a nation. <coughs> do you really believe he can do great things through you? I like this lady's confidence already. <coughs> do you really believe God can do something great through you? Do you? You feel that in your spirit? Because God's going to pour in his spirit. Do you believe that, ladies? God is going to do something great for you. She was put in a position of royalty for such a time as this. To represent the purity of Christ, meaning that she was set aside from the world of sin. She had the choice to live like all the other ladies. She could have said, oh yeah, she could have been rebellious. She could have been, and how many women talk badly about their husbands. How many times have we hurt so bad that rather than pray for the husbands or pray for the men, we talk badly about them? Do you think that's bringing a blessing on our life? It's bringing a curse and we don't even realize it. But then on the same time, I've, I've seen men speak nasty things to women and it all has to stop. But Esther was chosen to represent, and to, to represent royalty, to be set apart from the world's sin, to say when the other 99 say, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna choose to be the one to bless, to please my Lord and to bless the King. And so the position of royalty means that we are called to represent the beauty of the oneness of marriage before a nation and God's children. We are put in a position of royalty to represent purity by obeying the truth and to have a sincere love. Sarah's favorite word. A sincere love for one another. When we have that sincere love, precious ones, we are in a position of purity, security, and God can do things. We were talking in our spa day, we're going to do it later on, about speaking words of life to one another, and it's just incredible. So maybe you're here and you might have to say, you know, i got a close friend who's, uh, you know, uh, maybe struggling. Maybe they're struggling with drug addiction or maybe they're struggling with a bad relationship and you know that they got to get out of it. What are you going to do? And I see a lot of people do this. You know what they do? They keep silent. And you know what happens when they keep silent? They follow through with their behaviors and they fall in the trap. But you know what God calls it? It's called account. If I know that someone's falling, I'm going to come up and I'm going to say, you know something? This situation could lead you down the wrong path. I want to help you. Will you please listen to me and share the word? Because we need to be able to be a voice.